Hello, welcome to Invictus Motors. We've got a Porsche Cayman. This is a 987 Generation 2 Cayman S. Very rare, already modern classics. And let's get into it and tell you a little bit more about it. Firstly, the Caymans were first introduced in 2005. As a matter of fact, the heritage and the history of a Cayman predates that of the Porsche 911 because these are based on the ethos and the fact that it's got this monocoque chassis. It's a very rigid body. Uh, they were actually going back so the Cayman weren't based off the Beetle. The Cayman, as a matter of fact, were based on the Porsches of the 50, the 356s and so on. It shares a lot of similar qualities and characteristics, such as the fact it's got a monocoque chassis, as you can see. It's very rigid, it's got a lot of torsional rigidity, and overall it is a very nimble, mid-engine, lightweight car, as we had with the Porsches in the 50s, but not as light as those, but when you consider this only weighs 1,379 kilograms, when you so, sort of start to compare it with other sports cars, especially those that are built as well as this, you won't find many cars as light as this, as firmly built, as well built and as well put together as the Porsche came in. And the fact that the curb weight, as I said, is only 1,379 kilograms, that's on a PDK. As I said, there are mid-engines, and what does it mean? You can get the Caymans in two engine size. This is the second generation, the one introduced and built between 2009 to 2012, because the first generations were built between 2005 to 2008. The second generations, the two engines are 2.9 and 3.4. The 3.4 produces 310 bhp, 360 newton meters of torque and the 0 to 60 through the PDK dual clutch transmission is possible in 4.9 seconds. Spec wise, what do you get overall in a Cayman? Well, they can be spec'd rather blandly and can look completely not desirable because they can be very basic and very, you know, Porsche is not, Porsche is known as the king of optional. This obviously has the twin sports tailpipe that you get with the Cayman S. It's finished in the basil black metallic paint color. And if you come on the inside, it has got an absolutely gorgeous interior, which is beige interior. And you get this beautiful touches of you know perfect almost stainless steel or chrome silver and then you get sort of gray um, a trimming here around the steering wheel but it's it's all in beige this to me uh, exudes quality and uh, it's beautiful because it's very airy and light and makes one sitting in a Porsche feel free and happy because you're not surrounded by black all around uh, but a, a really nice contrast Something like this normally commands a big massive premium because it costs you uh, a big premium to spec this with your car and obviously uh, it helps with the resale value down the line as well. Spec wise, this has got the much later PCM navigation system which has got the um, radio here, the DAB, the DAB radio, it's got the map, uh, or the map, the navigation, European connectivity, as well as having uh, the climate control and the fact it's got the Sports Chrono Plus package. And to wrap it up, it's finished having the Xenon Plus dynamic cornering lights at the front. And in terms of the wheels, you've got the 19-inch uh, Carrera S facelift aloes here. So all in all, this is the spec of this. Now let's get into it, drive it, and tell you a little bit more what it's like behind the steering wheel. Cayman S, what is it like to drive? Well, firstly, in terms of the sitting position, just being inside it, it's very spacious. You don't have the, 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 the benefits of having that two plus two layout as you do in the 911. You simply have these two seats at the back. Let's start it and drive this car. I've got someone looking at me as if I've just stole this car. Now, from the get-go, they're not difficult to drive at all. You know, this is a question that sometimes people actually ask me. The Porsches can be a car that you can simply daily and practically drive 
every single day and you know put tons of miles I mean currently this is done 74,950 miles on the internet there was recently a Porsche 911 a 997 generation 2 that had 286,000 miles which sold for circa 26,000 pounds so you can drive them you can put miles on them and still as a matter of fact not lose money now let's talk about this Cayman this has the Cayman this has sorry the Chrono Sport Plus package this is a 3.4 liter these were built around the recession and not many people unfortunately purchased these and this is unfortunately because we don't have a great availability or, of, or, or, or great vary of choices to pick one of these as a used car but if you do get into owning one of these they also hold their values extremely well it's finished in this very desirable beige interior with the basil black metallic as the outside color and the 19 inch Carrera S facelift alloys and if you're going to be driving through the night it's got the Xenon plus dynamic cornering lights which are great to see but the big spec item on this is the Chrono Sport Plus package because through this uh, through this you get these two buttons there which is the Sport and the Sport Plus button let's press the sports button and actually hear what it sounds like Wow, it's so responsive. I mean, the PDK gearbox is, makes it superb, but Porsches in general, I mean, how progressive and how amazing they sound, especially as they take off. And that philosophy that is really bred into the ethos of Porsche continues to be part of how they make these products to this day. Now, this, in terms of just diddling around in it on a day-to-day -day basis is comfortable it's not back braking let's switch off the sports button and quite enjoyable to drive and you could happily put miles on it it's you've got this beautiful smooth leather steering wheel and if you'd like to drive it in an aggressive sports like manner you can easily shift the gear selector to the left and push this one down to drop a gear we're in fifth now fourth now third and we can drop it to second and now push it and then you can press this button here push that in to go up a gear so very easily done now in terms of service history this has a mixture of a Porsche specialist and a, and a main dealer service history it additionally has very low number of owners from new it's got three owners and the current owner has as a matter of fact owned it since august 2012. now handling wise what are they like to handle the generation 2 cayman s's you don't have the generation 2 cayman s the 987s you don't have the worry and the concern of the first generation where some people unfortunately are put off by the issue of the ims bearing or the scoring it isn't as big as people like to to make it seem like it is because the generation twos are pretty bulletproof well sorry the generation one are pretty much bulletproof and obviously the generation two are simply full stop bulletproof that's because you no longer have the ims bearing concern out there that you've got to worry about that you've got to think about or your car developing scoring because these are the direct fuel injected engines and they've ironed out all those you know issues that we found with some example of Porsches so you get a lot of peace of mind for your money but obviously from a driving point of view these are extremely engaging very visceral and beautiful to handle to corner to drive and to just you know feel confident in being able to do you know a curve or a corner in and around sort of 30 40 50 or even 70 miles an hour without having to worry or be concerned about the the back going on you and that's simply down to the fact that we've now got this in a mid-engine car as opposed to what you get on the Porsche 911s a rear engine car so thank you for you know staying with me so far throughout this video I hope you've watched this you know mini constructive feedback on the Cayman 
Uh, I've done quite a few of these videos, so click on some of the other videos on the channel and even done videos on why I personally think sometimes these are better than the 911s. Practicality-wise, you get two boot spaces, one at the front, one at the back, so extremely spacious. Thank you for uh, watching and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and thank you. Bye-bye.